as mentioned in the earlier videos differentiation has a lot of uh, applications and one of them is how we can use differentiation to find out the coordinates of the turning point and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video okay so as always first i'm going to explain to you guys the concept then i'll further try and elaborate on that concept with the help of an example and then we'll do some full length examples probably in the next video to further cement our understanding okay so in order to find out the turning point let's first analyze what the turning point looks like so here i have a quadratic curve and every quadratic curve will have a turning point okay so this right here the point that i've highlighted is the turning point of this curve now if we were doing math and if we were, if we were to do this graphically the way to do that would be to draw a tangent at the turning point and if i if we were to draw a tangent at the turning point we would get a horizontal line now what does that mean that basically means that the gradient of the tangent at the turning point is basically equal to zero yes so that's exactly how we find out the coordinates of the turning point what do we do here's what we do is that we first differentiate the equation of the curve all right and we set it equal to zero so i'll write it in steps also and step number one is is that you find dy by dx which you can do by simply differentiating the equation of the curve and then step number two is is that you set dy by dx equals to zero now when you do that first of all when you do dy by dx or when you differentiate the equation of the curve you now have an expression which is in terms of x setting that equal to zero means that you have an equation which if you solve you're likely to get a value of x value or in some cases values which we're going to find out in the later in the more complex examples when you do that what you get as a result is the x coordinate of the turning point all right so i'll write turning point as t dot p short for turning point so whenever remember whenever we say the word point a point is made up of two coordinates one of them is the x and the other is the y coordinate so in some cases the question will ask you to just find the y value in some cases just the x value or in some cases both so what happens when you have to find out both so we already figured how to find out the x coordinate of the turning point in fact to make things easy I'm going to call the x coordinate of the turning point h, okay, and I'm going to call the y coordinate of the turning point k. So when you do that, when you set dy by dx equals to zero, you have the x coordinate of the turning point, which means that you have the value of h, okay? And then in step three, which is the final step, what you do is you plug in the x coordinate of the turning point to find the y coordinate. And by y coordinate, I mean to find k. Okay, so let's let's try and further understand this with the help of an example. So here's example one, and again we have a quadratic curve. So we'll do, do the first step, which is that we'll find dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 6, all right? Then we're going to set this equal to 0. So dy by dx, in fact, sorry, 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 which means that 2x is equal to 6 x is equal to 6 upon 2 and x is equal to 3 okay so now what do we have we have the x coordinate of the turning point and then now to find out the y coordinate of the turning point what we'll do is we'll take the x value and plug it in in the original equation and when i say original equation i mean the equation of the curve so and if you were to if if by accident you end up plugging this in dy by dx what you'll get is equal to zero why because this we found by setting dy by dx equals to zero plugging this again in dy by dx in place of x will mean that the answer will again turn out to be zero so three squared minus six times three plus 5. So y is equal to 3 squared which is 9 minus 18 plus 5. So 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 minus 18 is minus 4. So let's double check. 2x minus 6 is dy by dx. Setting it equal to 0 gave us the x coordinate of the turning point which is 3. Plugging 3 back into the original equation meaning 3 squared which is 9. 9 is 6 times 3 which is 18. 9 minus 18 is minus 9. Minus 9 plus 5 is minus 4. So that means the turning point or the coordinates of uh, the values of h comma k in fact are three comma minus four so yeah that's this is something that i wanted to talk to you guys about uh, in the next video i'll show you what are the many names of turning point you know sometimes we call it the stationary point sometimes the maximum point sometimes the minimum point and uh, yeah so whatever uh, all all those cases we're going to discuss in the next video so that's all for this video see you guys in the next one until then take care Bye bye